calculate the effusion rate between um, SO2 and CO2. Now, my first question is, Olivia D, what do we put on top? Good, SO2. All right, and then CO is going to be on the bottom. All right, let's talk molecular masses for these. Val, what'd you get for SO2? 64.07 grams per mole. Yeah, it sounds good, right? Because this is 32.07 and then this is 32. I'm okay with that. What about carbon monoxide? A beer, what'd you get for this one? 28.01, 12 plus 16, 28.01, sounds good to me. All right, let's plug this all in. So I'm just gonna substitute first, uh, 64, and then 28.01 grams per mole. Okay, awesome, Braden, what do we do next? Divide. All right, great. Amy, what'd you get when you divided these two numbers? 2.207? Oh. Like that? Okay, cool. All right, and then we still have to square root it, I believe. Andrew, what'd you get when you square rooted this? Uh, I got 1.51. All right, awesome. Only three sig figs though. So what, if you didn't round it, do you have that from your calculator still or does anybody? I can put that back, 1.512. 1.512, okay, cool. Yeah, don't worry about it, we got it. All right, 1.512, all right, awesome. Olivia, can you tell us what the sentence is gonna be? Good, good. CO or carbon monoxide diffuses 1.512 times faster than SO2. All right. Any questions?